Beloved, Christ is in our midst. On this day, November 8th, we celebrate the Synaxis, the assembly of the holy archangels Michael and Gabriel, and together with them, all of the angels. We humans are somewhere in between the loftiness of the angels and the lowliness of the smallest things of creation. The Son of God, however, even took on our lowliness, making himself less than the angels. And now he is crowned with glory and honor because he has endured death for us and has been raised from the dead. Our human nature is now exalted, seated at the right hand of the Father in the person of the Son of God, perfect God and perfect man, where he is worshipped by the angels he created, worshipped by the saints. As a side note, all the angels have already been created. We humans after death do not become angels. Our destiny is to become saints. The angels are part of the invisible creation. Without bodies like ours, yet they have bodies. But they are creatures nonetheless. Some who stand before God's throne and offer worship constantly to God, and others who act as messengers to us humans. In the bulletin, you can read about the nine ranks of angels divided into three groups of three. The first group being the highest, the seraphim, the cherubim, and the thrones. And the second group, the dominions, virtues, and powers. And the third group are the principalities, the archangels, and the angels. And we honor preeminently two angels together with all the others today. And these two rank above the rest of the nine ranks. The archangel Michael as the chief captain of all the angels, and the archangel Gabriel, the messenger of God's mercy. We know of the archangel Michael from the scriptures when he appeared to Joshua at the battle for Jericho, when he disputed with the devil over the body of Moses, the God seer, to name only two instances in the scripture. And the archangel Michael has performed miracles, such as the one we celebrated on September 6th, when pagans were trying to destroy a church and the caretaker of the church by diverting the river so that it would carry the church and its caretaker away. And the archangel Michael came and created a chasm in the ground so that the water spilled into the earth instead of washing away the church and its caretaker. We honor also the archangel Gabriel. He is the angel of God's mercy in listening to the prophecy of Daniel last evening at Vespers, we understand it is Gabriel who gave the prophet Daniel the interpretation of his visions about the end of the kingdoms of the Persians and the Medes. And the archangel Gabriel appeared to Joachim and Anna to announce that they in their old age and childless would have a daughter, Mary, the one chosen to be the mother of the Son of God. Gabriel appeared in the Holy of Holies in the temple to Zecharias to announce that Zecharias and Elizabeth would have a son, St. John the Baptist. And Gabriel came to the All-Holy Lady, Mary, to announce that she would be the one from whom the Son of God would take flesh and be born to save us. And all the dreams of the righteous Joseph that we hear in the scripture about his being counseled not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife, though she was pregnant before they were married, about fleeing to Egypt because Herod planned to kill the child, about returning from Egypt because Herod had died and urging him to settle in Nazareth, 
All these dreams were appearances of the archangel Gabriel to Joseph in his dreams. And the angel who announced to the myrrh-bearing women the resurrection of Messiah Jesus from the dead was the archangel Gabriel. Now each one of us, baptized into Christ, we each have our own guardian angel appointed to us by God at the moment of our baptism. And in our prayer books, we find prayers asking the intercession of our angel guardian before God. Today, we have sung the hymn to the angels, commanders of the heavenly hosts, we unworthy ones entreat you. By your intercessions, encompass us beneath the wings of your immaterial glory and faithfully preserve us who fall down and cry out to you. Deliver us from all harm, for you are the commanders of the powers on high. At the same time that we ask the intercessions of our guardian angels, of the Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel, and of all the angels, we, lowly creatures that we are, who sin and will die, we give thanks to God that he allows us, the sinners, to say with the thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, holy, 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 Lord Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We make the song of the angels our song, clay of the earth that we are. As we honor today the Archangel Michael and the Archangel Gabriel and all the saints, let us remember to ask their intercession in our times of temptation, the intercession of our guardian angel. Ask their intercession before we travel on a journey, long or short. Ask them for their intercession for the forgiveness of our sins. And remember that when we pray, when we worship in the liturgy, we join our voices with theirs as we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 